Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today as you can see I'm a little bit hunched back and also have a mic because the camera is a little bit far away but not enough to see me and also I'm not sure if it will pick up the sound correctly and the mic sound is a little bit better so it's a win-win I guess. But today's video is going to be me transferring these little... Uh, I wanted to call them caterpillars, but it's not caterpillars. Um, these little beetles into a, into a bigger enclosure. I have had them for a while now and I wanted to transfer them to a bigger place. As you can see, this is like not at all the place that I want them to, to be in. And I was preparing stuff. I also uh, basically what I'm going to do is put a layer of dirt, then a big layer of sand. And then I have some decorations that I'll show you after when everything is put in place but to decorate everything and it's going to be a lot better and a much bigger enclosure. I think it's quite big for three beetles but I don't know. I, I think it's gonna look cute and it was... well, since I'm going to upgrade them might as well make it big. And also they deserve it because they've been waiting for this, well not for a long time, but I was preparing stuff for them to be in, uh, like in this aquarium as well as uh, I brought some sand from the beach that I got them and I washed the sand and I was trying to let it dry and it took a million years to dry so, but as I said uh, I'm going to start by putting some dirt uh, in the bottom layer and I'm going to link a video that I saw recently about desert beetles enclosures because initially I was only going to put sand in the enclosure but since I saw that video uh, I decided to try it out because it's from bugs from bugs in cyberspace which is like a really reputable seller of bugs in well my phone is not on silence but a really reputable reputable breather uh, from I think the US so as I said I started the enclosure with a layer of dirt like the video I saw and also you see my camera struggling a little bit because as I said my phone was on vibrate and so it was interfering a little bit with the recording but I'll cut in a second just to restart the recording and put my phone on on silence and uh, I used the dirt also to make a little bit of a bigger height and also a little bit of a higher place just to give a to make the enclosure a little bit more dynamic and that way I can use the sand just to top it off and I don't need as much sand because I think I use I basically use almost all the sand that I have and also you see that the sand has a little bits of what looks like dirt but it's actually bits of wood that was mixed in with the sand and I left that wood in because I didn't think it made uh, didn't have any problem to keep it there and also that way it was a little bit of a different texture, texture visually to see and the decorations that I have were things that I picked up from the beach, for example, I have some shells and also that big wood piece, like a, it seems like a bamboo, uh, but I don't think it is. I got it, I got it at the beach and the dried up plants, I got them in a, in a walking trail that we passed and I don't, I don't think I'll have any problem because they're all dried up, maybe the dirt will give me a little bit of a problem because maybe it can mold the bottom part of the of the stems but hopefully not and also you'll see that i have uh, a little cashew shell like flower which is something i'm experimenting with to see if i can then later use it in like snail enclosures or something because i want a way to decorate the the, sna the snail enclosures without them look having fake plants so yeah so as you can see this is the final result and you can see here the little 
fake succulent slash flower made out of cashews that I was said that I was talking about that I want to experiment with and also the little bamboo sticks the little fake plants those little fuzzy ones behind there and also you'll see that they are eating already because I'm filming this some days after transferring them and as you can see the orange piece is a little bit of carrot that's dried up and also I saw that it's okay if it dries up and they can still eat it but I will also put new pieces in and also you can see right next to this little bill here they are feeling my movement so they're a little bit uh, not quiet, but they're not moving a lot. Uh, there's a little bit of dog food that I saw that was good for them for a little bit of protein. And yeah, that that's all. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I was going to say build because I'm used to talking about The Sims, but I guess it's a terrarium build, so it's a build as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if uh, you did like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye!